Hello and welcome. I am the Suit and Tie Dippin' Shoe Guy, and this is the number 30, the 30th Bubblegum Review. This is on a playlist entitled The Bubblegum Diaries, and that playlist will pop up at the end of this video along with another review from it. And we will be taking a look at this. This is Kango Tutti Fruity. This was sourced and sent to me, funded too, by Troy out of Indiana, who got this out of his local rocket fizz. That all said, I'm going to take this over to the desk now to go through the packaging, the, the absolute train wreck confusion that is the packaging. <laughs> okay, so let me give sort of like a, a, a sneak peek ahead of time though. So let me just let you know. The product is made in Turkey. The product is licensed to sell in the EU. But the product has Hebrew all over it. Now I thought at first, if anybody can decode this, this guy. And then I thought, I don't think I want to know. I, I just, I, I don't want to know. So the takeaway, what you need to know is, this product was made in Turkey and the Turks decided to keep their options open in Europe, yet sell in Israel. And with that, we will go to the desk. Okay, so here we are. So it is in English, uh, Hebrew, uh... I'm, I'm not quite sure. English and Hebrew is what's sort of popping off to me here. Um, so it's sort of packaged like uh, Bubblicious. There was a sticker here. I decided to take it off. I believe this was somewhere in the range of about $1.50 for the pack. I am guessing there are five pieces inside. Yeah, so... <laughs> www.progum.com is their website, evidently. The expiration dates are on the inside of the packaging. There is five pieces. Made in Turkey is denoted right under that football-shaped emblem. The weird stuff in the middle is... Hebrew, that is Hebrew right there. Actually, that top word is Hebrew for sugar, which would make sense looking at the emblem underneath it. That is the ingredients list. Twice, I'm thinking. And that's about it. Uh, I'm not seeing any pull tab on this, which is a shame. Because I sort of, you know what? I'm going to open this down at the end. Look at me, thinking. Can I open this down at the end? Are you going to open for me? Open up. Okay. Let's uh, deploy the microblade. I was sort of hoping to save this packaging, so... <laughs> Not having a tab sort of works for me in this case. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, so this is what you got in there. It's uh, one of the uh, foreign wrap jobs. And a foreign wrap job that hasn't been done well. I'm wondering if this thing is going to have color. No, it is not. And it is really weird shaped. <laughs> okay, so it looks like two pieces of bazooka that have been crushed back to back. That is absolutely bizarre. Uh, I have noticed in overseas products and bubblegum, they don't feel the need to add any food coloring. So this is what you get. And it has absolutely no smell. It's almost like a piece of Bubblicious that has had, like, parts pulled out of it. Like, they've gouged sections out of it to make another piece, maybe. I don't know. But we're going to take this back up top because 
now I'm very interested about putting this in my mouth. Not really, but whatever. Okay, so here we are, and I'm uh, about to uh, delve into the world of Kango. <laughs> Tutti Frutti. Now, this isn't the first Tutti Frutti on this list. I think there was some Bubble Loo that was Tutti Frutti, but we will... Oh. Okay, so the stuff's sort of hard, but because of the way it's formed, it sort of shatters. Flavor's pretty good thus far. I'm getting more pieces out because I know this is going to break down real small. Okay, so they are, just for the record, all like this. The first piece was to some like. tongue and cheek joke that the Turks pulled on me. The stuff is pretty hard and brittle starting. So I guess where they put in English soft bubblegum, that means after you chew it. I Flavor's pretty good. There's no way I'm going to be able to blow a bubble with this. Yeah. Let's get out a third piece. My teeth are like, let's not. That actually wasn't good. Let me pause this so you don't sit here waiting for me to blow a bubble. I'll be back in a second. So there will be no bubble, blah, blah, bubble blowing. And I now have the whole pack in my mouth. It has occurred to me that they may have those channels cut in the product or it formed in that way. So small children can break it down with chewing. And no, I'm not kidding. Um, It has a springiness when chewing that tells me it is meant to be bubblegum, but it's it's almost, I'll tell you what this is, it, it's, it, it almost feels like, it feels like well expired, very, very stale bazooka. There's the terrible break in trying to chew it up. Then it gets super soft and really, really tasty but then you pass through that phase in like 30 seconds time and it start you can it, you can feel it with every chew getting tougher and tougher and tougher and now had i put all five pieces in at the first time there might have been like a 1 minute window where i could blow a bubble with this stuff but since i put them in and kept putting more in the first stuff, the newer, softer stuff did not have the ripple effect on the older toughening stuff, and it's just impossible. Um, the only way around that, I think, would be throw all five pieces in at the same time, and I'm not quite sure if my teeth would survive, to be quite honest. So, that's what you're looking at.
And that's what happens every time. It starts, and then the side blows out, and it's over. So, I'm always interested to try things from overseas. Um, and this is no different. The flavor is pretty good, and the flavor is sort of lasting. That's the only thing that sort of deviates from like an out of date bazooka type deal. The flavor's still there. As it's toughening up, the flavor's not going anywhere. So that's good. Um, price point on this, it, well, it's novelty factor. I mean, you know. So, no, I, I would not suggest this be, if you're very into chewing bubblegum, uh, this is not very cost effective, nor are you going to be overly happy with it. Even when I was trying to blow a bubble there, even if it had been successful, I'm not leaning towards products where I have to actually put thought into it. <laughs> like, you know, like concentrate on blowing about, you know. So, all in all, really good flavor and lasting. But bubblegum, there's aspects to it that tells me it's not chewing gum. They, they mean it to be bubblegum. It just doesn't do it very well. So, this has been my review of Kango Tutti Frutti. You know, in some things like this, like bubble gum or smokeless products like dip, it's interesting to see other countries' takes on it, but the products at their core are American. And if you want the best of them, then you, you, you stick closer to home. That, that's my take. That said, I, it, it's interesting, you know, that this is being produced in Turkey, you know, for European markets and whatnot. That falls in line with what I'm seeing, no, no food dye or anything. All in all, eh, sort of up to you. Do you want to try anything and everything in any certain, you know, playlist here? I am the Sudan Thai Dip and Shoe Guy. I do thank you for watching. As always, do take care of yourselves and God bless.